Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Richard today, and we're going to be working on a Mark II GTI. It's a 1991. So, we're going to do a little bit of, I don't want to say Frankenstein, but we're going to do some really cool uh, speaker mods here. And we're going to do a little bit uh, of fiberglassing later, but we want to get some sound in this thing for right now, because currently, we, well, you'll see. <laughs> right now, if you're looking at this door and you're like, how do you get it off? It's pretty easy. There is a Phillips right here. Pop forwards and slide it down. As you can see, just two teeth. This is where your speaker would be. Would be. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting in a crossover, which I want to put inside the door right here because there's no other real room inside the door panel here. So rather than, you know, putting it there, we're going to put the crossover right here because it fits. I'll show you how it's all going to fit together afterwards. But most importantly, I just want to show you it's going to be right here. Next thing we're going to do is probably put the tweeter just on the door as well because I want to keep it all sanctioned to this area. So give me one sec. I'm going to put some stuff together and then I'll show you what I end up doing. So as you can see right here, um, just so you know if you're putting one in. And again, I don't know if this is going to be the same colors for yours. It's, it seems to vary, but I'll let you know. It's uh, the red right here is your positive. Go figure, that's awesome. Usually it never lines up that way. And then the brown, as we all know, is usually earth on Volkswagens, especially the older ones. But in this case, it'll be your negative, so it works. That's gonna go on the negative terminal. So if you guys are looking at this, as you can see, positive and negative are coming through a hole that I've made in the pocket. Because I'm gonna be suctioning this in here. Gotta see how good this suctions in. So, bam! If you stuff something, a little object or anything in here, it'll hold that, or you can double sided sticky, you choose. But either way, it sits in here nice and tight, and I want enough room that I can do wiring. So, as you can see, that's in. I've put the tweeter right here because we don't want the tweeter aiming at our feet. If we close the door, Bam, she's gonna hit you, but it's gonna hit probably here and you know, deflect a little bit before it hits your ear, which is a little bit better. If it's screaming right in your ear, you're gonna cry, especially since we're using Hertz HSK 165XLs. These things are loud. I've used them on a couple of builds on my channel, and trust me, they hurt if they're aimed at you. We're gonna be probably wiring them to zero. You can wire them to plus two. If you like pain, go right ahead and wire it to plus two. I highly suggest amping these speakers. Today we will not be, but when I do amp them, I'll give you another video on that. But as you can see, I've mounted the tweeter here. I've drilled a hole with a reamer bit, just right through here. Uh, we've got a hole here, a hole here. So now I'm gonna feed a line here for the woofer, and I'm gonna suction my tweeter in there, and I'll show you how that looks. So right here, if you look, you'll see there's a little black piece right here. If you pop right there, you have access to this Phillips. You just take this and you undo it. Not like I'm doing with one hand. And then once we get that out, then this one will come out over here. Probably pull it towards us like this. Oh look, that's never been touched. And then now we get these two Phillips out right here. And after we get the two Phillips out, this little tweeter plate comes out. After it does, and you pull those two out, You'll see a little clip, squeeze it, unpop it, and you have this plate. You could put your tweeters up in here and mold a plate. Like I said, right now we just put it on there, and we might end up, you know, bringing one up here. But for now, for the easiness of just wiring in our crossover, we put it there. If you are putting it here, you're going to have to track this wire down here. Uh, or what you do is you have the woofer wire down there, like I've already showed you there. Once you've got your woofer wire... Uh, which was right here. Um, you could thread in a new wire back in here for the tweeter and just run it up here. It actually wouldn't be too bad because these grommets have lots of space in them. So just, uh, you can do it with a zap strap and this will pull out easy enough. Just squeeze it and just with your finger. And then you could feed the wire in through here. If your glove box is open like this, the wire will come out right through here. Grab it and you can feed it up here and. Like I said, probably if you wanted to jigsaw this out and mount your tweeter up there. Come Just a reminder before you start this up is to make sure that you've uh, unplugged all the other speakers so that way it's not going to impede your sound. As you can see, all nice and all fancy like. So I'm going to copy this side and I'll open up the door. So there you go, that's it. 
nice and sealed up here. Got to probably seat that tweeter a little bit lower, but I've got it screwed in here. All the wiring's right here, and there it is. I mean, it kind of looks really cool and it's sealed in the door. Even This even covers it a little bit from the rain. You could even make a little hood if you wanted to, but I mean, with the way this is, this is like perfect right there. And there's no uh, vents up top. They're all on the side anyway, so it'll help keep the uh, any water out and stuff like that. But that's it. I mean, all I did is, and we do, just said screw that. The little bit of fiberglassing I'm thinking about doing is right here. If you wanted to, you can make an MDF square, black, do it black, or even if you did it with um, black plexiglass. Like I said, I'll probably just end up fiberglassing and make a new ring for around here, and then it'll cover up in here. Keeps everything sealed right here, and it's loud. Um, but the biggest thing that you need to remember is when you're doing powerful speakers, the power handling on these speakers is 150 watts RMS. You got to amp. So that's our next stage. Uh, you'll see that later. Anyways, like the video if it helped you out, subscribe for more. And as for the rear speakers, you're probably wondering, well, why isn't he showing me the rear? Uh, we're deleting the rears. The rears are totally unneeded. We're going to have a sub back there and it'll be a shallow. I mean, the rears are four by sixes, so they don't really add anything. And if everyone's up front in the GTI, I mean, back seat, I guess it's sort of comfortable, but again, it's up to you if you want to do anything back there. I probably would say no. Either way, there you go. That's the front. Hope you enjoyed the video.